Hey guys, it's me Courtney and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be testing out a whole bunch of Beauty Bakery products. I have literally had this stuff in my collection for a long time. I've been wanting to do it like a full face of Beauty Bakery. But for some reason or another, there was just always something else that I ended up putting out. I'm gonna let you guys see um, me trying out everything. Now, I didn't wear everything for this specific look and I will get into the reasons why for that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so the first thing that we used was the Wake and Bake Baking Oil. I do believe they market this as like an oil kind of primer. I don't necessarily like it with foundations of any kind. Even though I do have dry skin and oils can tend to help with that, I actually like this better on its own or with my regular skincare. Like if I know I have to go outside and it's really, really cold and I have my skincare on, I like to put an oil over top of it um, just so that it won't dry out completely. It's super hydrating. It does smell really good and I do feel like it kind of wakes the skin up a little bit. Now they do say to use this with their specific foundation, which I recommend as well. Their foundation is a very dry formula, one of those formulas that literally stick to your face. So I do recommend this oil or some type of oil to go with the foundation if you guys decide to get um, their foundation as well. But I do like this oil by itself more so than with any other foundation. All right, so let's get into this foundation. Okay, so <laughs> it's a funny story. So this is the Cake Mix um, Demi Matte Foundation. I was looking at this shade I got and one other shade that was lighter. Typically I go darker simply because most of the time when it gets to that sort of area where we're shifting from the medium to the deep dark, there's not a lot of gradation in there. It kind of just jumps. So I'm either the light one that they have or I have to go to the next one which is darker. So that's kind of what I did there. This foundation I will say runs deeper which is awesome. So that means I probably could have went the other route <laughs> and went with the lighter shade. However, when I first tried this foundation on, I put it on, um, I put it on with the, um, the oil and I did actually like the way that it looks. I had a little bit more of a tan so it was a little bit more workable as far as the color. Even with this color, I still wanted to try it and I liked it, I was excited. I did not get a picture which irks me because I think that was the best application that I have done with it since then. Meaning. <laughs> Every other time that I've used this foundation, I have not got that same application. I've continuously been playing with this foundation and unfortunately, I can't get that again. <laughs> like I've been trying, but I can't get that one time that I got it right, like I can't get it again. This is one of those foundations that once you put this thing on, you have got to one work in sections and even then it still dries really really fast when i did put this on over top of the oil today um i did try first going in with a few dabs um and stippling that in with my beauty blender that didn't work um i tried going in with a brush that didn't work um i tried just kind of patting it on like it says to do that didn't work i tried swiping which gave me more of a sheer coverage that was even enough to continue to move on. Um, but it is one of those foundations that, I mean, I know some people do like it, but it's one of those things that I have had to try so hard um, to get it to, to work the way that I want it to. Um, and I still haven't been able to get that initial application that I got. Um, and now using the same brushes, using the same oil, following the same directions, I have not been able to get that specific look again and I'm so sorry that I didn't get a picture so you guys could actually see what the foundation could be <laughs> um, but again I haven't been able to get it back to that although I do love this packaging though this packaging is awesome <laughs> so the next thing that I tried on with that one as well was the cake face concealer I actually got this when they first launched um, I don't know if they're gonna do any other colors. I feel like the colors that they have in this concealer are so almost cool tone to neutral. Not very yellow, not very gold, and not very warm colors. I did demo this one, and this one is a similar consistency of the foundation. Um, in that it dries really, really quick, and literally once you put it on, you work in sections and you try to bounce out. You guys can see like once I bounce it out, it's still leaving those marks. It's still leaving like weirdness. And again, it's one of those products I kept trying to try to make it work, and it's just it it doesn't. <laughs> I had to go in and wash my face. I used a different like foundation and concealer. But the next thing that I went in with is the Beauty Bakery Dark Brown Brownies Eyebrow Gel. Usually your brow gel is kind of like hard. 
um but this one is like a cream formula you know what i mean like at first i was like how does that work in all honesty i do like this it does give me a a pretty decent brow like i like mine to be a little bit more natural looking <laughs> not to say that you can't get a natural look out of it but this is more of a painted brow as i like to call it like it's an easy formula to work with because you can literally sort of create your shadow um which is what i did like i'll draw a line and then kind of flick it up to sort of create like the illusion of hair being there and create those shadows and it's easy to move around and like with all of that being said i'm not mad at the way that my eyebrows turned out and i didn't have to set them today once it dries down it actually dries your eyebrows in place so i do like that um i think i was just initially thrown off by the actual creaminess of it all when i started gathering all of the products um to do this video like i said it was a while ago they only had i want to say this palette on their website as well as at ulta i knew that they had other palettes um but they were just sold out and never really got replenished and then recently they came out with another palette that's like a neutral palette and i actually really like the colors in that one so i might still pick that one up but in the meantime this is the palette that i had the thing about this palette online it does say you have a mixture of matte and shimmers and that is not the case at all every single one of these has a reflect to it of some sort some sort of glitter or some sort of shimmer none of these are matte now with that being said i actually enjoy the shimmeriness of these if that makes sense now while i like the idea of the palette i just wish that they put some mattes in there and maybe took away some of the colors that don't necessarily make sense in the whole game of thrones thing like i feel like they probably could have done without this color and probably like one or two of these pinks we could have got rid of and added some mattes in there you know what i mean warm tone cool tone whatever neutral mattes in here so that it would be a more everyday usable palette but other than that the actual performance of the palette isn't bad so i did go in with the lollipop liner this is actually one of my favorite things from beauty bakery right now it's not a completely black liner but it is like like a kind of satin look to it but it does go on really really smoothly it was really easy for me to create the wing with the felt tip to be fair this is a stiffer um, felt tip than most pins that I've tried but I really really do like the application of it and I was able to easily get my lines to go where I wanted them to go it gives enough product at the tip so I'm not like having to shake it every time I go in with it um so this is literally one of my favorite liners <laughs> next thing I went in with is the eyelash icing this is a black waterproof mascara it's an okay mascara I did use it on my bottom lash line and it's noticeable but it doesn't necessarily do for my eyelashes what like the bad gal bang does that one kind of creates this voluminous lash that i didn't know i could get um or like the better than sex or the dior show like those three are my favorite mascaras um this one is an okay one though i'm not gonna lie i do i do actually like it i did use the beauty bakery flower powder i like the yellow one this powder is a really really great powder it's very very finely milled it gives your eye a very very brightening effect not to mention the fact that it just literally blurs out everything and this is one of those powders that gives you a little bit more coverage under the eye right here so usually i'll sink here i'll do this right here eh, you can't really see it okay usually i'll have a situation where i can see i can tend to sink in right here so i try to use my concealers and powder to sort of cover that up and this is one of those powders that can help with that it does do a super job at brightening which is why my face looks as bright as it does um but yeah it's just one of those things i really really do like this powder and if you guys are in the market for a mattifying soft finely milled color based powder this is a really good one i believe they have a translucent yellow pink and a brown color like they have multiple colors in this this is the cocoa and wait nope just kidding this is the <laughs> coffee and cocoa palette um now there's a few things that i wanted to say about all of these next palettes these are all the face palettes right now the thing about them while i do enjoy the actual colors and everything in all of these palettes i do wish that it was a little bit more than just this 
um because i don't know if it was supposed to be a magnet or still is but it doesn't even it doesn't hold so i don't know how travel friendly these would actually be the one thing that i did go in with from this palette is deja brew this color does show up a little bit more warmer a little bit more orangey on my skin tone so i did go ahead and use it as a bronzer, like a bronze contour type of situation. The funny thing is, when I am tan in the summer, I cannot use this color. <laughs> but right now, I'm probably at my most pale. So I was able to try this out today. The other color that I like is this one. This one is La Vida Mocha. This one as a blush on multiple skin tones is gorgeous it's like a rusty red brown now if you're of a lighter complexion you obviously want to use less of it and kind of sheer it out with your other makeup however just this color in general is just and it has like the most beautiful sheen to it I just think it's one of the most beautiful blushes ever. <laughs> now the other two shades, this one and this one, are a little bit too deep for my skin tone. However, I have used them in the past as like eyeshadow. So this works really well as like a golden eyeshadow topper to go on top of your lid. Um, as well as this one, I've used this under eye. Um, and it's a very reflective brownish hint brownish color with like a hint of reddish purple in there. And I think if you are of a deeper complexion this entire palette would be an awesome um palette uh face palette for you because you can use this on a multitude of levels and like i said i do use some of these as eyeshadows if they are too deep for my skin tone but i just all together love this palette the next thing i actually went in with on my face this is the cotton candy champagne blush lighter palette now this magnet holds a little bit better so i do like that today i use the color 24 hour champagne diet it's like a pinky peach with like a golden shimmer all of these work really really well as toppers for your blush i like to actually put them under my blush only because i don't want too much of the sheen on top i feel like if i put it on top it's doing a little bit too much i like it better when it shows through under my actual blush there is a pretty decent amount of fallout in all of these face palettes this one doesn't have quite as much these shimmers are a little bit more buttery a little bit more soft and they do have a nice pigment to them however again they are strictly a shimmer blush type of situation then i went in with the scoop salise palette and i went in with this color right here which is creme brulee i actually mixed it with a french tart because i wanted a little pinky peach color so i mixed those two together on top of the blush lighter out of all the palettes the scoop Sailize palette has the most fallout. It's literally you tap your brush in and it's kind of crinkling a little bit. And I don't know if it's the way that the press or what it is, but I did want to mention that. Today I did go in with this. This is the Beignet highlighter. I went on just this part, um, not the entire cheek because I already had the blush lighter on. I put a little bit on my inner eye corner. And as you can see, it's very, very reflective. Um, and I don't ever feel like it makes my skin look drier. I don't feel like it brings out any textures. And that's kind of like with this entire collection of face palettes even though these palettes can be a little uh, powdery a little bit dusty um i still feel like they don't bring out any extra texture even when my skin is textured last thing we have are lip products now i have tried um their regular liquid lipsticks and i personally am not a fan um i will give them that they do last a very very long time i think they have some beautiful colors in the actual um liquid matte lipstick however for me personally i feel like it, it gets into every line and every crevice and it, it's like a sticky feel to them i have not tried out their glosses but right now i do have some of their mini lipsticks today i'm wearing the color skinny dip on my lips i did line with the curvy liner from ColourPop. they're very soft on the lips um they are a regular bullet lipstick so they don't last very long um i do suggest if you do want something longer lasting that'll last you all day they do have those matte lipsticks um and i know a lot of people like them they like the longevity and that sort of thing so if you do want to try out something that lasts way longer um, than a regular bullet then I would suggest trying those out they are minis just to let you guys know so they're a little bit tinier when you roll it up that's about how much you get but I do believe they have some really nice colors I do believe they're comfortable they're soft 
my lips don't feel overtly dry. Um, that's literally everything that I have from Beauty Breakery. I am going to continue to try out their new products as they come in. Like I said, there were some definite misses for me. Um, the foundation, the concealer, and a little bit of the palette only because I don't feel like it's an everyday palette and I think the color selection is a little off. Um, the actual performance of the palette isn't bad, it's just I need better color selection. So like I said, I am gonna try some other products from Beauty Bakery and see what other looks I can come up with for you guys. All right guys, that about does it for me. Hopefully this video was helpful. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys have actually tried out any products from Beauty Bakery, um, especially as far as the foundation and concealer go. I, I'm really curious to know if anybody else has been able to actually make that foundation work for them. Um, but in the meantime, be sure to thumbs up the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video if the mood suits you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!